So let's look at how you can install um, uh, live.js now because that's very useful. Okay, so simply type livejs.com or you can search for it in Google or Yahoo or Bing or whatever um, search engine and then simply you can click download live.js like so and you can copy that script and then save it to a file and call the file live.js or you can right click and download basically the the script you can just basically click like that and then save link as and it would save it and you can put it inside the desktop like so okay now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can copy this script inside your NetBeans project to do that is very simple what you do you go where it says project 2 and then you right click and say new create a folder call that folder JS short for JavaScript and now you have a folder here called JS it's empty right now but what we want to do is we want to copy the JS file in here okay I've moved NetBeans slightly to the right and you can see the live JS script is just there so I'm just going to drag it I'm moving it and I drop it inside the folder as you can see it appears there now how do I get that interact in here how do I include it um, you could do it in several ways but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some HTML tags okay I've just added some basic HTML tags just now and um, we've wrote HTML because it's a HTML document um, got header and we've got a body just there okay what I'm gonna do now is in here I'm gonna add um, the JS file so I'm gonna make an include of the JS file now to simply do that paste this line there it says script src and this is the JS live.js now I'm going to, as soon as I save it I want to just basically do a quick test I'm gonna do alert one if you're familiar with JavaScript you know exactly what I'm doing I'm just testing if it's actually going through the function so I've done that and I'm gonna save I'm gonna delete that afterwards okay so basically we've gone back to project 2 and it says hello world and there's no alert so there must be a problem in the link if I go back here again and basically the problem with the link is I've got this in front I can either do it in two ways I can do dot dot here or I can just remove that there like that and if I click on save go back to the browser and if I click refresh it does the alert so now we know that it works when I do a refresh so we want to do something else now I'm gonna move NetBeans and the browser side by side so we can actually see any changes as it's happening if I click hello world and I just remove the world part and I just save it didn't reflect so there's a problem what is the problem do you think let's think about this well the live JS is, and JavaScript is a client-side technology so it downloads onto the client and as soon as any updates are made on the client side it reflects to the browser however it's ignoring what's happening in the PHP because it's on the server side so what we need to do we need to actually force PHP to to basically communicate or transmit any changes so then live.js picks that up and then reflects it on the client so before we do that I'm gonna demonstrate with a HTML file to show you that it actually does do the changes when it's a HTML file not a PHP file to do that I'm gonna click again on project dot, uh, project 2 right click and I'm gonna create a this time HTML file and I'm gonna call it hello and if I click finish it's already done the tags for us just there if I move this slightly that way, let's adjust the screen. It says to to, uh, to do write content, and that's basically what it does. So if I go to the f to the file now called hello.html, it should print to do write content. Hello.html, and that's what it writes there. 
Now, what we want to do in this case, we want to make changes here and it should reflect there straight away. So what do we need to do first of all? Let's copy over live.js and we already identified the problem with the link was here. So we just delete that uh, forward slash. So if I save that now, we didn't do any changes, it's to do write contents. It's exactly the same. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to change that and we're going to make it say hello world. So let's do that now. Hello world. And as soon as I click save, immediately it should reflect. And we can see it's reflected immediately in here without actually me refreshing the browser. So if I say hello just by itself and I click save, and there you go, it's updated immediately again. So that was just a quick um, integration of live.js and it, um, and also using it to update um, the browser while we make changes to HTML or JavaScript file. But how about PHP? Wouldn't it be even more cooler to get PHP to work? The solution is very simple actually. We're going to do a quick hack on that. To do that, what we need to do is the top of the file, I'm going to create another tag PHP at the top. The top of the file we need to tell or force PHP to transmit um, the information of changes like um, the file size and the date it was created, that kind of stuff. Okay. Now how do we do that? It's very simple, just include this code. Now what that does, it, it these are variables but what it does, it picks up the length of the, the file, uh, the last modification, and then forces it into the header. So the content length and last modification. So it does that. It updates these things. And then that way, it will uh, identify there's been a change in the HTML um, content of it. And then it will transmit that to do an update and so on. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just basically click save and then I'm gonna do a change so if we go back to here it says hello to world I wanna change that now to say hello to and I click on save and as you can see it's a PHP file and it's done the change here so now we've successfully got um, live.js to update the browser when changes are made to the PHP file, JavaScript file, and also the HTML file. Likewise, if we had a cascaded style sheet CSS file for the styling of the page, if we change the colors, change anything uh, to do with the layout, it will immediately again reflect uh, 